Central Command Core. Offline. Engines. Offline. Escape pods. Offline. Distress beacon. Active. There's no point. Leave me. No! Come with us! We'll find a point! Just don't- ah! Lilac! No! Hold on! I've got you! By the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Makanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. Is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated. Where... Shang Tu? Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. <coughs> However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence, to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side, I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bakanao's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? She's still out there, alone. How fair is Sash Lilac? She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pshaw! Saving the world? No worries! Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however would I have survived without your apt tutelage? 
see, she even picked up a sense of humor. There is... something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, a regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings are fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Mira. M me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who'd protect and defend Cheng Chu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time. I... I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled a water dragon centurion on a spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. Excellent. Then I pronounce you... Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! Yeah, major congrats, scary lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as regent. Ah! Uh, I can't believe this! These assignments are complete Delta Sierra! What's up, Cory? This whole boondoggle is what? I thought we were getting it easy, but not only do I have to repair the palace brick by brick, the Sigwad is getting recommissioned to be an official part of the Perusian Air Force! I thought you worked for Perusa anyway. Yeah, but not officially! Everyone's trying to tie me down, I swear. <laughs> so that means for the next six months, I'm going to be seeing you around the palace a lot, right? You know what that means. Oh, no. Carol, please. Mercy. Was I really that bad a sister? Aw, it's OK, Cory. I know I was a crane in the net. What's that? Oh, it has begun. Nailed it. Honestly, us spending so much time together is going to cement our relationship. La, 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 la. Uh -huh, come back. I was just building up to my good material. Mila! Mila, 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 Mila! What is it? Are you okay? The fat panda guy was handing out who was going to do what. And you know what he said? He said I had to help at the museum. I said, what do I know about dinosaurs? And he said, you're the science kid, so I'm guessing a lot. But I don't know anything about dinosaurs. I just think they're cool. You got to help me, please. Okay. I got all that. First of all, let's unpack what you do know about dinosaurs. And from there, we can read up some books on paleontology. I call the big ones with sharp teeth Mega Awesome Buddy Saurus Rex! Oh dear. Science Buddy? <sighs> Science Buddies. Something's come up! Talk to you later! Meet you at the library! Read books about dinosaurs while you wait! Okie dokie! Didn't think I'd see you again. I live here, and I thought you might like to know that the Magister has decided to abdicate from his position. He saw it fit to choose another to oversee the future of Shang Tu. Looks like your revolution was a success after all. <laughs> yeah, right. So he's gone off to do whatever it is the ex-royals do, but he's put a puppet on the throne to take his place. So the system goes on and nothing changes. Perhaps. It is difficult. To question the ways we've always known. I hope for a future where a dialogue between the old and new can occur without violence. And I think new leadership can facilitate that. <laughs> sure are putting a lot of faith in the new guy. New gal. And again, perhaps. Mila, report. It's Lilac! She's awake! Hey. 
you should be moving around so much. Where are you going? I heard that they never found Murga. So that's what I'm going to do. I think she deserves to know that someone's thinking of her and make sure she's okay. Same old lilac. Can't you be little Miss Hero Pants some other time? <laughs> Not a chance. Besides, this might be my only chance to find out more about the water dragons. And maybe even something about my parents. Cool. I gotta stay and make sure my sister does all right. Mila and Scary Lady have got their own things going on, too. You gonna be okay by yourself? Of course. Even a falling spaceship isn't enough to stop a dragon. <laughs> Fair enough. Catch you later, Lilac. Catch you later, Carol. Lila! You guys got here a little late. She's gone off to find Murga. Oh, last of the water dragon's business? Ah, so she's pulling a Carol. I see. You guys are never gonna let me live that down, are you? Never. Given her inclination towards heroics, I would presume we would merely have to weather some kind of alien invasion, and she would come running back. You're not wrong there. I could put on a cape, laugh maniacally, and declare my plan to conquer the world. Please do not. New entry. Hello again, love. It's me, Cordelia. I pray that you'll hear these words somehow, because it will mean that you've been freed from your crystal prison. I know that this isn't all we'd hoped for, and I'm so sorry. What happened to the water dragons was a travesty, and the passage of time has not been kind to their memory. I wish I could be there with you right now. We had so much ahead of us, but I hope that no matter what happens, you'll find your own happiness. And who knows, perhaps we'll even be together again. Someday. But for now, my work isn't over. Not yet. End entry. <laughs>